and the food thirsty hear that barren land but we're trusting in the law and according to his word and we will understand it better by and by singing by and by oh when the morning comes and all the saints of God together and we will tell the story how we overcome and we will understand it better by and by a temptation hidden snail often take us on away and our hearts are made to bleed for each thought live word or deed and we wonder why the tear when we try to do our best but we'll understand it better by by oh yeah by and by oh when the morning comes and all the same of God and gather in home and we will tell the story how we overcome and we will understand it better by and by I'm singing by and by oh when the morning comes and all the saints of God together in home and we will tell the story we overcome and we will understand it better by and by. Amen. Let us notice hymn number 342. 342. Jesus is coming soon. Heaven shall we sing. Trouble sometimes on here, filling men's hearts with fear. Freedom we all hold near now that say. And humble your heart to God, say from the chastening rock. Seek the wake, pilgrim, trust, Christians away. My Jesus is coming soon, morning or night, and I know noon and many will reach there. New men the trumpets with the sound, and all of the dead shall ride the righteous meeting. The sky we're going where well, no one died, the heaven was bound. The love of so many cold, losing their homes of gold. This in God's word is told, he will abound. Oh, and when his sign come to pass and nearing a that land and it will come very fast for all it will sound my my Jesus is coming soon morning or night night or noon and many will reach their doom and the trumpet will sound oh and all of the dead Ride the right 
church is meeting the sky and we're going where no one died of heaven was bound. Now troubles will soon be all happy forever than when we meet on that shore river market. Up in the sky, we're going where no by and home when we dance, men will fly in glory to share. Oh, my Jesus is calling soon in morning or night, night or noon, and many will reach there. Do many trumpets will sound. Oh, and all of the dead shall ride the righteous meeting. The sky we're going where no one died ever was found. Amen. Mansion robe and crown. After which we'll have our scripture reading and prayer. I'm gonna trade my earthly home for a better one, bright and fair. Christ left to repair a mansion for us children in the air. And I'll join him in that land where tears no sorrows can be found. When I receive a mansion, robe and crown, Lord, I want a man. Crown and will always the battle and let me and your throne surround and Lord, please reserve a mansion, a robe and crown on a weather there. Is always man and sunshine day and night, and no cold, no rain will fall. Ever the sunshine, ever bright, and I'll need no heavy garment. I'll just wrap my robe around with. I receive a mansion. And crown with Lord, I want a mansion, a robe and a crown. And love, it will always abide, oh, and let me, dear Lord, your throne surround and a Please reserve a mansion, robe and crown. I'm headed bound and bloody now from the worst that I tried to do. I know they would have won day. When a crown so bright and new And I when I wear a smile so bright And there be no call for a frown We I receive a mansion Lord, Lord I want a mansion Crown and love, it will always abide, oh, and let me, yeah, your throne surround, Lord, please reserve a mansion, robe and crown. Good morning, church. We thank God for this morning. 
We thank God for the ability to be out in attendance to worship him in spirit and in truth. We lift up prayer on behalf of our brothers and sisters that cannot be out here in this moment. They have a desire to do so, but cannot at this time. So let's always ever so be mindful of them that their desire is to be here. Let us continue to pray on their behalf. This morning's scripture reading comes from 2 Corinthians, the chapter is 12, the verses are 7 through 10. 2 Corinthians, chapter 12, the verses are 7 through 10. And it reads as inspired by the Spirit. And least I should be exalted above measure by the abundance of the revelations. A thorn in the flesh was given to me, a messenger of Satan to buffet me. Least I be exalted above measure. Concerning these, this thing, I pleaded with the Lord three times that it might depart from me. And he said to me, my grace is sufficient for you. For my strength is made perfect in weakness. Therefore, most gladly, I will rather boast in my infirmities that the power of Christ may rest upon me. Therefore, I take pleasure in the infirmities and in reproaches in needs, in persecutions, in distresses, for Christ's sake. For when I am weak, then I am strong. May God bless those who hear and do the will of his, our Father. I really love the Lord. Oh, I really love the
but you continue on a regular basis yes. to be long-suffering towards yes. us. We don't deserve it, dear God. We don't deserve any of your goodness and your grace that you extend upon us. But you being the loving God that you are. We have problems loving one another. We need your help. We need you, dear God. We come here for worship each and every Sunday. Want to have a good spirit. Asking your forgiveness. Your help. Yes. It's like being at a hospital, dear God. Yes. We're just sick people yes. that need you because we know you are the great physician. Yes. There's so many of us, dear God, that are dealing with all kind of things. Yes. We just had a play last week, dear God, that exemplified so much of what I'm talking to you about. Yes. There's so much going on yes. in our families. Yes. Our Husbands yes. not being right in the family. Yes, Our yes. wives not being right in the family. Yes, Our Lord. kids not being right in the family. Yes, have drug yes. problems. Yes. Have drinking problems. Yes, yes, but so often, dear God, we try to handle everything on our own. Yes, We're not capable. No. We don't have the power to be able to do it, dear God. Yes. That's why we have to call out to you. Yes. Help us to swallow our pride, dear yes. God. Because sometimes our pride can be to the point to where we just we, we think we on the same level with you sometimes, yes. dear God. And, and dear God, we just want to thank you. Thank you for everyone that's here this morning up under my voice. Thank you for waking us up last night, protecting us, keeping us safe from the outside world, yes, yes, realizing, dear God, that somebody got the house broken into, yes, yes. realizing, dear God, that somebody was murdered last yes, night. Yes, yes. Why, dear God, do you continue to show the love and kindness yes. that you do unto yes, us? Yes. When I can look out in the audience and see my church family yes. have a reasonable portion of yes. health and strength, yes. Yes. So much to be thankful for. You better to us than we would ever be to ourselves. You continue being good to us. No matter how we are towards you and towards others, you forgive us on a regular basis. We're so thankful, dear God. And we just ask that you help us individually and collectively. Yes. Yes. You know what each and every one of us need yes. in, our, in our own way, dear God. Yes. My weakness may not be somebody else's weakness. No. My strength may not be somebody else's strength. Yes. Yes. Just ask you to help us in those help areas, dear yes. life, dear God. Yes. Lead us and guide us. Yes. Forgive us of our sins and all our shortcomings. Sometimes, dear God, I just wonder, do we really realize how often we sin? How much we can sin? Words, thoughts, and deeds, dear God. I don't have to do the action, dear God. It's just my mindset. My mindset will cause me to think certain ways about people. And I should. Help me in all of those areas, dear God. And most of all, dear God, thank you thank for, you. for thank Jesus you. Thank you. that makes my prayer possible. Yes. Because it is only through Jesus Christ, yes. because he's the intercession yes, for our transgression. Yes. Just thank you so much, dear God, for his death on the cross. Yes. Thank you for the new covenant. Yes. Because of his death on the cross and the establishment of the church. Realizing, dear God, that if we were under the old law, we wouldn't have a chance. We probably wouldn't even be here to talk about it. But your grace and mercy, you came through for us once again. 
And dear God, as I'm about to end this prayer, I just ask that each one of us, we can live our lives in a way that would be pleasing yes. and acceptable yes. in your sight. Yes. Your sight. Yes. So when that horn blows, yes. that trumpet blows, yes. our names will be written in that Lamb's yes. Book of Life. Yes. 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 Hoping one day, dear God, to come home Come home yes. to be at home with you. Yes. I don't have to worry about high blood pressure anymore. Yes. I don't have to worry about diabetes. Yes. I don't have to worry about strokes. Yes. Yes. No more. No cancer. Yes. No more. Any, any of that, dear God, I don't have to worry about. Yes. Just to be with you yes. in peace. Amen. For eternity. Yes. I pray this prayer. Yes. In your son Jesus name I pray. Oh, yes. Let the whole church say amen. amen. Pass me not O oh, gentle Savior. Oh hear my humble cry. Yeah. Uh -huh. 
filled with the Spirit, sing songs of Zion, and to be able to talk to God and call Him your Father. It's a blessing. The mantle has been passed to me this morning. I would like to thank Brother Frazier and those who had a part in my being here. And I want to thank you for your presence. And we hope when this service shall have ended, you will say it's good to have been here. Amen. This morning, according to the lesson that was read into your hearing, Second Corinthians chapter 12. We find a young man there by the name of uh, Paul. And Paul said that he was given a thorn in the flesh. And my subject this morning is my grace is sufficient. I don't know about you, but everything that we have, everything that we do comes from God. When we fall asleep at night, God is there. When we pillow our heads and sleep all night long, and wake up in the morning, God is there. Yes. Because he said, with me, yes. you can do all things. Yes. But without me, you can do nothing. Yes. Paul, the young man, said that a thorn was given unto him in the flesh. Yes. Because he had had many revelations, and he could boast of the things that he had. But a thorn was given unto him. And the Bible says that he I sought the Lord three times. Yes. And he said, My grace is sufficient. Is sufficient. Yes. You know something, ladies and gentlemen, sometimes I believe that we don't trust God's grace yeah. like we should. Amen. Because we want to do things our way. Yes. And God has said and he continued to say, without me, you can do nothing. Yes. But Paul said now, because of the revelation that was given unto me. Yes. To keep me from being all out of sorts. Let me put it in Stuartology. Okay. To keep me from being all out of sorts, he gave me a thorn in the flesh. Yes. And that thing was bothersome to me, he said. So many words. I sought the Lord thrice. But you see, sometimes we have problems. And we wonder where we where they came from. Maybe we need to go back and search our tracks. Because God may be testing us. He knows how we are going to act. But he needs to prove to us how we are going to act. So he had given Paul, a thorn in the flesh. And he said, My grace is sufficient. The Bible said in Titus chapter 2, For the grace of God that bringeth salvation has appeared unto all men, teaching us the denying ungodliness and worldly lust that we should live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present world. 
Let's look at that verse for just a moment. It said, for the grace of God. What is God's grace? God's grace is an unmerited favor from God given to us. None of us merited the favor of Jesus Christ coming, but God so loved us that he gave him anyhow that we might have a right to the tree of life. I don't know about you, but I want to be able to eat from the tree of life that yields its fruit 12 times a year. These are for the healing of the nation. I want to eat from that tree because it's called the tree of life. And if I can eat from that tree of life and I can live forever. But before you can get to that tree of life, you got to live right. For the grace of God that brings salvation teaching us. See, grace is a teacher. It teaches us. Sometimes we don't adhere to what, what grace says, but grace is still a teacher. It teaches us to do what, Brother Stuart? To deny. We don't want to deny ourselves. We don't want to talk about things that we shouldn't talk about. We don't want to do those things, or we want to do those things rather that we shouldn't do. But the Bible says the grace of God that brings salvation. Where is salvation, church? The salvation is in Christ Jesus. Bible said, now let's look at the thing against it for the grace of God that brings salvation is in Christ Jesus. We need to understand because of the fact that Christ died for us, has given us a right to the tree of life if we live right. We got to live according to what's written according to the Bible. Am I right about it? The Bible says in John chapter 12 and verse number 48, he that rejected me. He that uh, rejected me and received not my word has one that judges him. The words that I have spoken, the same, shall judge you in the last day. You see, the, the cause of Christ, the Bible says, every last one of us got a cross. It doesn't make much difference how you bear it so long as you bear it right. Amen. Thank you.